Welcome back, guys. So, we've been talking a lot about the Super NT lately. A lot. Just reviewed the controller yesterday. Had some issues. It's frosty looking. Doesn't look like the, uh, you know, the 3D rendered advertisements that they showed. But what about the systems? That's what we're going to be talking about today. Does the system look like this controller? Is, you know, people going to be disappointed with the way the system looks if you got the transparent version? I don't know. Let's go ahead and find out. Okay, guys, so here is the deal. Originally, on the analog website, when you pre-ordered your system, you know, they had a lot of, a lot of images. They were all 3D renders. But taking a look, just scrolling through, getting to that, that clear one, you see the clear one kind of had a little texture on it, which is very similar to this, but it's kind of, this is cloudy looking. But looking at these renders and these images they showed, for example, here's another, you know, better picture. It had that clearness to it, not that cloudiness. So a lot of people are wondering, is that the way it's going to look? Because the controller sure as crap doesn't look like that. So unfortunately, there are a bunch of pictures floating around on Twitter. I don't use Twitter, but hey, we jumped in here. A few people gave me a heads up on this, but just scrolling through, you will see a lot of people who have, you know, posted some pictures up here and some of them look sweet. Like this, you know, this version, that one looks good. That looks awesome. Here's a, here's another one looking really good there. Real snazzy. The, the super Famicom version, really nice. Here's a, a, a image from metal Jesus rocks with the controllers side by side. Looks like the black one does have a um, maybe a sticker on it too. I'm not 100%. You know, the sticker that is on this is pretty thick. So what it does look like to me is that they are printing those, you know, buttons and the logo on that and just putting it on there. The adhesive was very, you know, tough when I tried taking mine apart. Uh, but let's see, what else do we got here? A lot of, a lot of hype, a lot of anticipation. Look at that black one. That is the one I really wish I would have got now after looking at these images man here's a here's another look at that would you look at that that looks slick it still has that texture to it it's not shiny but that black that black looks slick for sure and then here's their pre-rendered picture again and then going down i know i seen some clear pictures there's another super famicom ah my Life in Gaming has a picture up of their unit. Take a look at the Super NT Transparent. Looks just like the controller. Exactly like the controller. Obviously, there's no stickers on it, but that kind of frosted look is going to be the same as what's on this on the actual system. So a lot of people are getting a little bit annoyed with this is what was advertised and this is what we're getting. The other systems, the three other colors, all look fine. Um, nobody's really complained. And here's another one of the clear. Again, it's cloudy, it's frosty looking. It's not that you know translucent, just straight clear. I don't know the reasoning behind it. Looking at their pre-renders, where is it? When you really looked at those images, they, you know, it had that texture to it, but it was a lot more clear. Is that just a result of them, you know, the, the, the 3D renders they did uh, and not anticipating the way the plastics are actually going to come out? Most likely. And, you know, this was the first system to sell out was the clear version. So it's a little disappointing for some people who really wanted that crystal clear looking system and you're not getting it. You're getting a, a you know, it's still transparent, but it's frosted. For me, I'm kind of... I'm kind of disappointed myself looking at that, but at the same time, I'm still super hyped and happy to get this system. I kind of wish I would have went with a different color now that I see the, the transparent and it's not really what I wanted. I would have rather went with the black console, to be honest with you. Maybe in the future when they release another batch, I'll get the black one, get rid of my clear one. Who knows? But maybe the interest in these clear ones is going to diminish and it's going to become a, a lesser made version. And then it's going to be a hot, you know, a hot commodity. People are going to be clamoring for the clear version because nobody originally liked it. Who knows? 
So that was what I really wanted to talk about today, was just looking at these images that we got, uh, the reality behind it, what we're actually getting, and some people are definitely going to be disappointed. If you jumped on this and the transparent was the one you picked, are you disappointed seeing what we're actually going to get? The hardware is not going to be any different, obviously. It's just the looks. It's the aesthetics of it. But when a company puts out images and it represents it looking one way, and then the actual delivered product looks a different way, people are going to be disappointed. It's human nature. When you get hyped up for one thing, you get something that looks different, you're going to be upset. Me, I'm annoyed, but like I said, I'm still going to be super happy to get the system and to be able to play these games, you know, in reference quality with the audio and the video being on point with all the additional features. I'm actually really digging this controller despite, you know, the quality behind it as far as there being a sticker on there. The other controllers being darker colors, you know, the black, if that is a sticker on there, which I suspect it is, it's not as apparent because it's not clear. So you can see the imperfections on this sticker where it's not exactly affixed properly or, or you know, whatever. The adhesive is very strong, but there's still spots where you could tell that it's not stuck all the way. So that's a little disappointing with that. Kind of, like I said, wish I would have just went with the black. But you live and you learn. Just got to deal with it. It's a little expensive system, you know, a couple hundred bucks after shipping. I think the clear is still going to be cool, but not exactly as expected. So share your opinions, your thoughts down below. Appreciate you guys coming in, checking us out. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you have not done so already. And with that said, guys, I will catch you all next time. Boom. Peace out. Bye-bye.